Welcome back, y'all. It's your boy, Mr. Steve, here, aka Hot Take Time. I'm back with another lit, yes, sir, lit topic, y'all. That was strange, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was strange. Honestly, y'all, if you're really feeling good that you're happy that it's Friday, I'll smash that like button. Leave a comment down below of why you like Friday, why you love Friday, y'all. Because honestly, I know some of y'all, you know, got to go to work and it time to, sometimes when it's, you know, your mornings or your evenings or maybe mid-afternoons, you feel me? But honestly, y'all, you know, let me know, you know, because at the end of the day, I do these amazing lit topics for y'all just to get your feedback and definitely to hear exactly what y'all want to know next, you feel me? But honestly, I'm happy as writer because honestly, it's the end of the week. I probably made a lot of mistakes in life. And I can't remember how many people I forgave or how many people I'm trying to forgive and fool me. And I said, if you guys follow me on my social media, on my Instagram, Twitter, and all that, I said that this will be one of the interesting topics, y'all, because I actually put so much effort and so much, you know, patience and time into gathering many things just to make this topic interesting and fool me, y'all. So make sure y'all like, subscribe. Definitely leave a positive comment down below and most importantly share this lit topic y'all because I'm really trying to get my topics out there y'all. But other than that, you know, let's get right into it. Let's go. Upon a shooting star, no time to waste that engine speeding down that boulevard. No more nights of struggling, we gon' drive a faster car. I need bread to eat, stay in the streets, we screaming for the law. We came from nothing, all I ask is one wish. Just make sure that we good and buy my mama a crib. Watch me work through these days and change the way that we live. I make up for those nights, I ain't had nothing to give. No more pops, you be good, I know my family be straight. Trying to take all my dogs now nah, before it's too late. Through the ups and the downs and through the times we lose faith. Yeah, we all gon' shine together, I'm just paving the way. Alright, y'all, let's get into it, y'all. Man, oh man. So, just to start off, y'all, by a show of hands, y'all, in the comment down below, because honestly, y'all, you could see me, but I can't see you, right? So, just by a show of hands in the comment section, how many of y'all was in that position where you really had hard, difficult times, you know, forgiving someone? You feel me? I'm gonna raise my hand because I've been in so many situations where. I had hard times forgiving and me being in that, in that position made me realize how hard it is for others to forgive me when I done wrong you feel me and you know a lot of times you know you won't really have the understanding of something until you build that experience you feel me so if you ever been in that difficult situation where you had hard times forgiving someone just comment down below Really in life, I know I'm not a perfect, you know, man of God, but I'm a believer. And I'm far, far, far from perfect, y'all, that I could probably write a whole bunch of books and create my own library. I probably won't know the title of the library, I will probably name it, but I could write so many books and know definitely that I'm far, far from perfect, y'all. And growing up, I didn't really, you know, have the true understanding of what forgiveness was until, you know, I gave my life to God and around like 15 and you know same age you know I got baptized and definitely y'all you know these verses right here all of them every single one of them is what made me realize what forgiveness was and I realized myself that if I didn't forgive myself then how could I really forgive others if I didn't learn what forgiveness really was but most importantly you know the Bible does say for those who are, you know, believers, and if you aren't a believer, you know, one of my favorite, you know, Bible verses about forgiveness, because there's so many, y'all, but Ephesians 4, verse 32, be kind and compassionate to one another, and forgive each other as Christ God forgave you. Now, I sit heavy on that, because I feel like people with a good heart are more passion to be easy forgiven 
compared to those who been through a lot and forgave a lot and just got to a point where it's like, man, how much times can I forgive? But ask yourself, how many times have you put someone else in a position where it's been hard for them to forgive you? Sometimes I feel like if you don't forgive, I feel like bad things could occur. And I don't know if it's wrong to feel that way. I don't know if it's right to feel that way, but don't you ever think, you know, when you do something wrong and you don't really, you know, forgive yourself or someone else does something wrong to you and you don't forgive them, that it's just like, you know, all of a sudden down the road, you know, you, something bad happens to you and it just adds up, adds up, adds up, and you look back and you ask yourself, is it because or wrong, you know, choices that you made in the past that are just, you know, all of a sudden come back and catching up to you, and I really ask myself that. And that's why I really, you know, try to do, you know, right by God as much as I can, even though I know I'm not perfect, you're probably not perfect, and everyone else, you know, around the world, you know, are struggling and going through a lot. To really be that strong person, it begins with forgiveness. It begins forgiving yourself. It begins forgiving those around you. Because again, you know, if we didn't really know what that true meaning of forgiveness is, it's like, how can we really, you know, reach our goals? How we, how can we really learn? How, how can we really grow as one? If you are a believer, you know, how crazy God works is y'all. How many times do one of your friends, you know, say something wrong as a joking matter and all of a sudden, you know, deep inside, you know, it hurts. But then the next day or a couple hours later, you start talking to them and you guys are hee hee hi And y'all are not realizing in that right moment, you already forgave. Because I don't know if you have a good heart. I don't know. If you just forgot about it, you didn't really take it serious. But in that moment, you already forgave that person, right? And I'm sure deep down, that person probably forgave for what they done or what they said. Because I've been in so many situations that I have so many examples where, you know, I'm just, you know, walking by and I say hi to someone. They end up saying something ridiculous, you know, something that's not really funny, something that's probably hurtful. And all of a sudden, you know, a couple hours later, I'm just like, you know, I brush it off and, you know... I'm just like back into my good spirit, you know. But in that right moment, we forgive people each and every day. So many times within the day. Like, it's probably more than 10, 20 times. And we don't even count and realize how many times we forgive people based off the things that they do, based off the things that they say. And, you know, the deeper part of forgiveness, y'all, is when, you know, we tend to do mistakes. And then we end up, it takes time for people to forgive, you know, everyone's different, right, so, you know, little things, people are going to forgive quicker, bigger things, you know, it's going to take weeks, months for people to forgive y'all, but in the end, if you don't really understand the real concept of what forgiveness is, y'all, and being a believer, y'all, then it's pretty much like, how are you really supposed to grow spiritually, how are you really supposed to grow, if you're a non-believer, how are you really supposed to grow as that mature person to get by life, you feel me? You really got to ask yourself, you know, if you're not doing the right things to forgive someone, there's going to be a day when you do something wrong and that person's going to have difficulties forgiving you, you feel me? So it really starts by knowing what the true meaning is. Stephen Furtick, and then some of y'all probably know him, just like you watch him just one of his videos once it's very touching it's very strong it's very you know one of those things where you really want to continue watching it right and one of the things that he said about forgiveness is this y'all look away with the preaching that will teach you that the pain will go away when you forgive the offense it's not that the pain goes away i'm helping somebody i'm setting somebody free you keep waiting for the feeling of forgiveness to come. It's not a feeling. It takes faith. Now, those are his words alone. And definitely from that, y'all, 
ask yourself, you know, is it, what's really, you gotta ask yourself with that strength that you have to forgive someone, knowing that they put you through so many things, knowing that you've been through so much, and the amount of times you forgave them, you gotta ask yourself, is it faith that's making you want to forgive them? Is it having a good heart? Is it knowing yourself? Is it definitely knowing that you're trying to be a bigger person? Because a lot of people have many reasons why. But my reason is because I know my faith. I know as a man of God, I know I got to do what's right in God's eye. And if I do wrong in God's eye, then how could God definitely forgive me? You see, today, y'all, I had to forgive myself early because later on tonight, I'm actually going to see that new screen. And I'll see with the amount of you know, violence and horror in that movie. In my head, I'm thinking, you know, this is something God would not want me to watch. But I had to forgive myself because I was like, yeah, it's a good movie. I see the trailer. And I'm just like, man, I got to forgive myself before I go watch this movie. Or at least forgive myself afterwards, you know, so I can make right with God. You feel me, y'all? But <laughs> forgiveness is one of the words where it made me who I am today. Because I know myself. I know I got a good heart. I know I, I got good intentions. No matter what people say, no matter what the world images, images you as, you know, you gotta, you know, stick true to yourself. And, you know, in this world, you know, when people see you perfect, it's just like, man, they, they're like, this person can't make a mistake. You know, as much as you tell them, you know, you see me as a perfect person, and they're like, nah, 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 nah. But if that's the case, then why is it when I make a mistake, it's like, you have a hard time forgiving? Ask yourself that. If people in this world don't see you as perfect until you make a mistake, ask yourself. Will they forgive you? And if they forgive you, then from the start, they knew that you were never perfect. But if they have a hard time forgiving you, then in the end, y'all, and it's always up to God, I can say that they probably don't see you as a person. They probably will never accept you as a person who is allowed to make mistakes. And as confusing and messed up as that is it's like what did you really do to be in that position to not being able to make a mistake and not being forgiven well the one thing that doesn't discourage me about that y'all is because i feel like just because the world doesn't forgive you it doesn't mean that god hasn't forgave you and once you put that in your heart and your mind you can really get over a lot of things you can really become the strong person that you want it to be. You can really become the wise person that you want it to be. And definitely you can be that person who could forgive others without having difficulties doing that. And that's what really, you know, makes me strong when I realize that, you know, God's always in my corner. Even if those close to me or the world around me isn't really in my corner. I know that deep down I forgave myself. And when you do that, y'all grow stronger you know as a man of God as a woman of God and it's not only knowing about that but definitely reading God's words y'all and definitely you know again with the verses I showed y'all so many examples and meanings to what forgiveness is and definitely it helped me it may help you once you read it but definitely y'all you know without knowing the true meaning of forgiveness you can't really understand to forgive yourself and forgive others so God can forgive you, you feel me? Thank you for tuning in to episode 13, y'all. If you enjoyed this topic, y'all, definitely smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a positive comment down below. And definitely, y'all, if you ever want to hear about other topics and, you know, amazing things, y'all, that you want me to talk about, just reach out to me. Follow my social media. Stay connected. And definitely, y'all, tune in to the next episode. A Friday Night Topics, y'all. Peace.